right, hello. Um, thank you for joining me for my first yoga video. I am Emily Joy, and this is five minute yoga that you can do in the bathroom while hiding from your family. And this is also my real bathroom, so welcome. Um, the holidays are upon us, and during the holidays, we all need to hide from our family in the bathroom a little bit sometimes. So this is yoga that you can do real quick and then get back out there. So let's get started. Um, so we'll start out by just um, doing a short seated meditation. So you can sit um, on the toilet or on the bathtub edge or whatever you got. Um, and just uh, place your hands on your knees in a really grounding position. And take a few deep breaths, feeling your belly expand ribs expand, the chest lift, using our full lung capacity, and then on the exhale, feel the chest fall, the ribs contract towards each other in the belly, move in towards the spine, so take a few breaths just like that, in and out, using all of the space that you have in the lungs. And when you've taken a few breaths, We'll move into a couple of cat-cow spines, so um, normally we would do this on all fours, but we'll just do it seated today. So on the inhale, puff the chest forward, arch the back, shoulders drip down, and the chin lifts. And on the exhale, round the shoulders, round the upper back, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. And we'll move back and forth just a couple times like that. Arching the back on the inhale, back and on the exhale, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Let's do that one more time. Back. And around the back on the exhale. And then we'll go back and forth from an upward facing plank into a forward fold. So again, normally we would do this on the ground, but today we'll do it seated. These are uh, called chair yoga poses, uh, which is a thing, but here we go. So um, you can place the hands behind you, next to the hips, feet straight out in front of you, um, and feel all four corners of the feet rooted into the earth, and on the inhale, lift up, hips move towards the ceiling, shoulders away from the ears, and on the exhale, come back to seated and fold forward, reaching for the feet. You can bend the knees generously here, don't feel pressure to have the legs straight, you actually get a better um, deep hip release if you bend the knees. And then we'll do that one more time. Hands come back, hips lift up so we're the ceiling. And then come to seated. Bend the knees as much as you need to to reach towards the feet. Feel the compression in the hips. Feel the compression in the belly against the thighs. And then quickly we'll do a seated pigeon here. So you can bring the right foot to the left knee and then bring the hands to prayer in front of you and just put the gentlest pressure on that right knee so you can feel the stretch in the outer right hip. Breathe here into that outer right hip and into the glute muscle. And then we'll switch to the other side real quick. The right foot to the floor, left foot to the right knee, hands to prayer. And it might feel different on either side, it does for me. It's okay. Deep breath. And then we'll do one short twist. Reach the hands above the head on the inhale, and on the exhale, turn to the left, right hand to the left knee, using it as a little leverage here. that you can do in the bathroom 
while hiding from your family. And now, you can do it. You can get back out there. I believe in you. They won't even know you were gone. You got this. Go.